Hey guys, this is Paul. Today I want to show you a little trick. Imagine if you've got two-factor authentication set up on your WordPress site. You, you know your username and password, but you just can't get past the next step. Maybe, I don't know, you've lost your phone or the codes just aren't working. Sometimes that happens and it's so frustrating. You know your username and password, you just can't get past the next step of two-factor authentication. So how do you bypass this temporarily to turn it off or to reset it? How do you get past this screen? Because it, you, you put this in place to stop people getting past this screen. So how do you do it? Well, if you know the details for your FTP site or the way that you can access WordPress kind of from the back end, then what you're able to do is to temporarily deactivate that two-factor authentication plugin go in, fix the issue, and then turn it back on again. So let me show you how you do that. So what you're going to do is to log into your FTP client so you can actually access the WordPress files. And if you start at the root directory, we have a folder in there called WP content. So if you open that up, then there's another folder inside called plugins. And if we go into plugins, then it's gonna show you each of the plugins that you have installed. And the one that I'm using for two-factor authentication in this demo is WordFence. So all I need to do is right click on it and rename that. So if I just call it WordFence off, then what's gonna happen is it kind of just like confuses it. And so now what happens is when you go back to the login page, the two-factor authentication is temporarily gonna be disabled. It's deactivated, it's just not gonna work. So let's go back to the login page. So assuming that I do know how to log in and that I still have my username and password, what I can do is just log in as normal, but this time I won't be faced with a two-factor authentication page because that plugin at the moment is kind of temporarily deactivated. It just doesn't work. WordPress is going to try and find it and it's just not going to be able to find it. So if I come to plugins, what you'll see is that the plugin is still here in my plugin list but it's not activated. And at the top, there's even an error that says it's been deactivated due to an error. You know, the plugin file does not exist. It just doesn't know where to find it. So what we can do is we can now go back into FileZilla now that I've logged in successfully and we can change the name back again. So let's go to that plugin and let's rename it once again. We're gonna remove the word off and send it back to what it used to be like. So there we go, that's now updated. So now we can go back into WordPress admin and we're simply going to refresh the page and now it's gonna look for the plugin with the correct name and there we go, the error has gone away. So what I can do from here is I can just reactivate the plugin and then I'll be back to where I started. So just be careful because what you've done here is you've temporarily deactivated part of your security settings. You know, the purpose of two-factor authentication is to make it more secure and you have temporarily deactivated it. But if it's the only way you can get back into your site or the quickest way you can get back into your site, then this is one way you can do it. Okay, thanks for watching.